reality. Today we're doing allusions to the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And it's just going to be an uh, energy check between you and someone that you're dealing with. So I've already pre-shuffled the cards before I started just to save time or whatever. So for this first spread, it's going to be nine card block. The person on your mind, what they're up to in regards to this as far as their actions and then their feelings. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right. This person's in their feels. All right. The Knight of Cups is the underlying energy on this person's spread as far as underneath the deck. I don't see any King energy out here. So let me just go ahead and say that right now because this person may come in with some communication between now and the end of September. I'm just doing like a general vibe check for you and them for the next few weeks but whenever they come in they may be in that energy of saying what you want to hear to get back in good because the knight of cups is known to do that sometimes he'll say things that you want to hear just to get his way to get back in with you so the person on your mind is the queen of pinnacles reversed the temperance reversed and the judgment card reversed you could be dealing with a sagittarius or an earth sign but this person wants another chance with you. This person, no, this person, it's judgment reversed. I had a brain fart. This person thinks they're not going to get another chance with you. You're not giving them the time of day. So they are being impatient. This person may not be very stable in their energy right now, but they're being impatient and they're not very grounded in their energy right now. But I feel like it's because you're not giving this person another chance right now. So you're not really wanting to give this person another shot based on these cards. And that's got them feeling out of their element, kind of un unbalanced and not very grounded. Okay? Their actions in regards to this is pouting. Feeling like they need to be felt sorry for. Why? Because see, they're looking at the three cups spilled over. They want a reconciliation. That's This is the energy of pouting. So when they're pouting, they're holding back communication. It could be a Leo also. And then the Page of Cups reversed. They're stalking. <laughs> so this is literally the three cards that came out for their actions. This is not 3D doing a whole lot of anything. Pouting, holding back any communication because they're pouting, and they are stalking you with the Page of Cups in the reverse. So, they're not really talking to you, but they're pouting, holding back, and stalking you. I don't know why you wouldn't even know that, but that's what came out. Their feelings is the Two of Wands reversed, the Three of Swords reversed, and the Hangman. They're starting to see whatever happened between you and them from a whole nother perspective. In the past, they could have felt like it was all your fault, or they could have felt like they didn't want to take this very seriously. And so, finally, you got enough of that energy. In the past, they could have broke your heart with this Three of Swords being reversed. Like, that energy could have been something that they done to you and it caused heartbreak between you and them. But it's like they caused you to have heartbreak. But now they're starting to see it from another perspective. Why are they seeing it from another perspective? Because... They hurt you in the past, and now they're wanting you to come back around. You're not giving them the time of day, so they're pouting about it. And you got them very off their rocker. You got them unstable. You got them feeling ungrounded. They're feeling impatient about wanting this to happen again. But they're not doing anything about it. They're just pouting, and they feel sorry for themselves because you're not allowing them to come back around. In case this was off and on over and over, that could be why you're not allowing them to come back around because you know what's going to happen when it does. But they feel like they've learned their lesson. That's just their perspective. All right, so for your side of the spread, we're going to do Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. This is for your energy. Well, this is the energy that manifests when y'all interact. It's going to be the first part of the spread. All right, and then how you feel about them and your actions in regards to this. All right, so you're starting to get over this. You might be uh, really into your... Um, yeah, you probably feel like this person was very unfair. It was very unbalanced. There was injustice in the situation. You feel like there's a lot of things they need to make right when they come forward with this underlying energy being the Six of Pentacles reversed. 
The energy that manifests when y'all interact is the King of Wands upright, the Three of Pentacles reversed, and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. I feel this is energy of not making a very good team, not being very grounded and committed to each other. I almost feel this as the energy with that King of Wands there as kind of like an argument will pop off between you and this person. There's a lot of passion, and when you have a lot of passion and you mix that with not making a very good team, not having a very solid foundation with someone, it not getting off to a very grounded start, and there's a lot of passion behind it, this could manifest into argument energy. So I feel like whenever you and this person interact, sometimes it could manifest into some words being said to each other at some point in time when you were connected with this person. All right, so... <laughs> How do you feel about this person? The star card reversed, the eight of pentacles upright, and the five of pentacles reversed. You're starting to get out of that energy of feeling left out in the cold and abandoned by this person. Maybe you've been doing a lot of work on yourself with this eight of pentacles. Maybe you've been focusing on your job a lot. But you really are not in the energy of wanting to heal this, especially right now anyway. You could be dealing with an Aquarius also. I just saw that. But you're not really wanting to heal this right now. Why? Because you're working on Virgo's energy. And you're starting to come out of the cold. So this person could have ghosted you or left you after a heartbreak energy, after it was on and off. And now you're like, I'm not dealing with that no more. I'm not going to give them another chance. But just know they're pouting. They're butt hurt because you're not giving them a chance right now. They are pouting. Whether they're going to man up or woman up and do anything about it is a whole new thing. But... So your actions in regards to this is the Four of Swords reversed, the Seven of Cups reversed, and the High Priestess reversed. You're coming out of a lot of confusion as far as what you want to do about this. In the past, you could have been sitting around and really thinking, taking a break from this person and really thinking about things. You're coming out of that energy. I really feel like you're starting to get over this. Whatever happened between you and them, you are starting to get over it. As far as actions towards them, I don't feel like you're taking anything directly towards them. I feel like you're just, the, the effect this connection had on you as far as confusion, feeling like you want to stay off to yourself and really uh, meditate on this energy and think about what happened between you and them. It's like you're coming out of that. You're starting to, to get out of the brain fog confusion energy. And you're starting to get out of that energy of wanting to take a break from this person and, and starting to want to get on with your life pretty much. And if this person came forward, I feel like you would just throw it all out on the table with this high priestess in reverse. This is the energy of letting the cat out of the bag and telling them what's up. If they ask you, I feel like you would be very forthcoming, especially having this energy in your spread in general. That king of wands energy, he's going to be very forthcoming. He's got a lot of passion behind him. All right, Virgo, that's been your energy check, and thank you so much for watching.